क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इफ द एन टर्म ऑफ द पैटर्न ऑफ द ऑड नंबर इज टू एन माइनस वन विच ऑड नंबर इज ट्वेंटी नाइन लेट्स टेक एन टर्म इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन देन वी कैन इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन नाउ टू रिमूव माइनस वन वी हैव टू एड वन टू बोथ साइड्स टू एन माइनस वन प्लस वन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लस वन माइनस वन एंड माइनस प्लस वन विल बी रिमूव टू एन इक्वल टू थर्टी नाउ डिवाइड बोथ साइड्स बाय टू देन एन इक्वल्स फिफ्टीन सो फिफ्टीन टर्म इज ट्वेंटी नाइन Question number two. Find the perimeter of this figure. This is the figure given for you. Um, the length of this uh, figure is given as forty centimeters. Then this breadth is thirty centimeters. Then uh, we can complete the rectangle by uh, stretching these sides, uh, this side to this direction. I can uh, stretch the sides like this. Then uh, this one for here. Then the, uh, these two sides in this direction. So this is a complete rectangle. This length is also equal to forty centimeters. This length is thirty centimeters. So perimeter equal to thirty plus forty multiplied by two. Then seventy multiplied by two, the perimeter is one hundred forty centimeters. Question number three: What is the supplement of one hundred seventy-two degrees? To find the supplement, we can sub uh, subtract this uh, angle from one hundred eighty degrees. One hundred eighty degrees minus one hundred seventy-two. Then the value is eight degrees. That is the answer for it. Question number four. We are given to simplify this minus seven minus minus two. We can uh, convert the subtraction into addition by taking the additive inverse of the second directed number. That additive inverse is plus two. So minus seven. Plus plus two. Now you have to take the difference of the two magnitudes. Here the magnitude is seven. Here magnitude is two. So the difference is five. So what is the sign of the answer? It takes the magnitude uh, sign of the largest magnitude. There is uh, minus sign. Minus five will be the answer. Question number five. Find the value of Two x minus one when x equals minus one. We have to substitute this uh, minus one for x here. This is equal to two times minus one minus one. Here, yeah. two times minus one is minus two. Minus two minus one. Add uh, addition of two negative numbers. There is also a negative number. Then the two magnitudes are added. Minus three will be the answer. Question number six: Find the value of the square root of x squared times two uh, squared. So, how to simplify this? I can write this product of squares as a square of a product. So, I can write uh, x. Times two to the power two, then the square root of this. Now what happens? This square root and square will be removed as they are opposite operations. So I can remove the square root and the square here. So inside uh, this, inside the bracket, uh, x times two is remaining. That is equal to two x. That is the final answer. Question number seven. X plus 
twenty five tons six kilograms in kilograms. So, what is the relationship between tons and kilograms? One ton is equal to thousand kilograms. So, this twenty uh, five tons will be equal to twenty five thousand kilograms plus six kilogram. Then what is the final answer here? Twenty five thousand six kilograms. Question number eight. We are given to simplify this. Three tons nine hundred kilograms divided by six. First, we'll convert uh, this uh, this amount into kilograms. So that is equal to three thousand nine hundred kilograms. Uh, then uh, let's divide it by six. Three thousand nine hundred kilograms divided by six. Six uh, times six is thirty-six. Then three is remaining. Then six times five is thirty. So zero. Yeah, also zero. Then the final answer is six hundred fifty kilograms. Question number nine: How many axes of symmetry in a rectangle? In a rectangle, we have two axes of symmetry like this. So the answer is two. Question number ten: Solve. This is the simple equation given for you. X over two minus one equal to seven. First, we have to remove this minus one. Uh, for that, we have to add one to both sides. Seven plus one. Then here minus one and plus one will be removed. Then the remaining is x over two equal to two. Now, what is the next step? X is divided by two. Then the opposite of that operation is the multiplication. We have to multiply both sides by two. Then two and two is removed again. Then x equal to sixteen. That is the final answer. Question number eleven. We are given to solve this. Here uh, in this uh, equation, we are give, uh, given a bracket. So. You can uh, do the uh, you can take the solution by removing the bracket or without removing the bracket. Uh, here the bracket means x minus one is multiplied by three. So the opposite of the multiplication is the division. I can uh, divide both sides by three equal to twelve divided by three. Then three and three is removed. X minus one equal to four. Then x minus one plus one equal to four plus one. Then x equal to five. That is the answer. Question number twelve. Express three over twenty as a percentage. To convert this into a percentage, we can multiply by hundred percent. Twenty times one, twenty times five, then three times five is fifteen. Then fifteen percent is the answer. Question number thirteen. Express seven and half percent as a fraction. What is the uh, correct step here? First, we can convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. That is fifteen over two percent. Now we will remove the percentage sign. Percentage sign means the fraction one over hundred. Then uh, five times three. Then five times twenty. Then what is the fraction you obtain here? Three times one is three. Twenty times two is forty. Three over forty is the fraction. Question number fourteen. Find the value of two over three squared. 
here uh, as this is second power I can uh, remove the power like this 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 there are no simplifications so you have to multiply the two numerators and two denominators separately 2 uh, times uh, 2 is 4 3 times 3 is 9 then this is the correct answer question number 15 find the value of minus 1 to the power 20 we know that an even power of a negative integer is a positive integer then an odd power of a negative integer will be a negative integer so here uh, the power is a negative uh, even number then minus 1 when 1 is multiplied uh, any number of times with the same number itself we get a, we get 1 as the answer so here the answer is 1 Section number 16, P is a set of perfect square numbers between 1 and 20. Write the elements of the set. As this is given as between 1 and 20, we can't take 1 or 20. So, what are the elements of the set? P equal to the square uh, numbers means... Um, one, is, one can't be taken as it is uh, given as between 1 and 20. Then next one is 4, 9, 16. These are the answers. Question number 17. Find the area of the triangle PQR. We know that the area of a triangle is equal to half into base into the perpendicular height. So... Uh, we can uh, calculate it like this. Half times. Then uh, what is the uh, value of base here? 6 centimeters. 6 times the perpendicular height is 4. 2 times 1, 2 times 2. Then 12 square centimeters will be the answer. Question number 18. Find the surface area of a cuboid shaped box of length, breadth and height equal to 6 cm, 3 cm and 2 cm. The surface area means we have to find, uh, take the sum of the, sum of all surfaces in this cuboid. So we can calculate it like this. Surface area is uh, equal to 6 uh, times 2. 6 times 2 plus here 2 times 3. 2 times 3. Sorry. 2 times. Not uh, addition. 2 times 3 plus then here 6 times 3, 6 times 3, then we have to multiply this uh, amount by 2 because it has uh, two identical faces on, on, uh, on opposite sides here. 2 times, 6 times 2 is 12, here 6, 18. So, what is the addition? 2 times 36. Then the surface area is 72 square centimeters. Question number 19 and 20. Use the following statement to answer the question number 19 and 20. Sri Lanka is located in the time plus five and a half zone. Question number 19. Find the time in Sri Lanka when Greenwich time is zero hours. So, how to find that? We have to uh, add 
फाइव एंड हाफ आवर्स टू द ग्रीनिश टाइम फाइव आवर्स थर्टी मिनिट्स then time in sri lanka will be this value so uh, it, it can be given as 5:30 am then question number 20 what is the greenish time when the time in sri lanka is 20 hours we have to subs subtract Uh, five and half hours from twenty hours. Here addition, here subtraction. Then we have to um, uh, take one hour to this side. It becomes sixty minutes. Then thirty. Then here nineteen, nineteen plus five is fourteen. Then the time can be given as fourteen hours thirty minutes. 